now before we dive into what are the things uh, what are the chapters we are like going to study in this before we dive into that let us talk about path to placement so what is the like actual steps we will be taking to get a good placement in a good company so the path to placement is basically the placement path is divided into basically like structured three paths that is the first step is learn a language right we should learn a programming language this is the fundamental basic step right so in india when it comes to india there are three like most common used languages and these languages are asked in the companies and these three languages are java c++ and python so these are the like most commonly used at the same time asked languages when it comes to placements right these are the three languages we should know at least we should know a syntax of each and every language so each language will have their unique specifications it will have their unique qualities now let us talk about why we have chosen java in our course so talking about python let us start with python so python is a good language when it comes to machine learning and artificial intelligence so if you want to go into deeper into machine learning and artificial intelligence then python is for you you have to learn python in that particular scenario or else if you want to just secure in a good placement in a like service based company or product based company then i should suggest you that java or c++ should be your go to choice because when it comes to competitive coding or when it comes to solving questions of dsa python is little bit slower language it will take longer for execution time when com when compared to java plus comma csa c++ okay so it is kind of slow language when compared to java c++ so will be will not be studying will not study python in this course now let us talk about c++ so c++ is a super fast language you know uh, when we are in competitive coding most of the coders use c++ as their language because it is super fast and it is used in game development and some of the other technologies so this is like a, like one of the fastest language we are having right now but in this concept of c++ there are like concepts like uh, pointers and uh, memory leakage and when we like go deeper into data structures uh, we'll face some problems and we'll face some uh, like confusion regarding pointers and storage leakage and memory leakage other concepts so we'll get a little bit confusion that's why we have chosen java so java is used in development java is used in dsa mostly used in dsa java is used in competitive coding and most of the industries in india prefer java so that's why we have chosen java so first step is learn a language and we are going to learn complete java in this or like whatever the things we need to know about java programming language we are going to learn and the second thing is learn data structures and algorithms so what does it mean like we'll be learning complete java after learning java we'll use its tools and techniques to solve problems so we'll use the tools and techniques by which we can solve various problems and when it comes to placements especially product based companies they ask the deeper concepts of dsa like graph they ask about graph now in when you go into google company when you go interview when you get interviewed in google or like product based companies like oracle or google then graphs questions are the most frequently asked questions when it comes to amazon dynamic programming is the key there right so these are the like uh, deep concepts of dsa they will be asking when it comes to product based company so understanding dsa is the fundamental block of placement after learning a language and data structures and algorithm there are other factors like doing projects uh, we'll talk about like uh, which technology is uh, used in the most of the companies and how we can do projects in that particular technology after that for csc student for computer science student whether you are from csc or artificial intelligence or networking or whatever the department of csc right so there are some basic theory subjects like csa architecture uh, oops and uh, computer networking computer architecture uh, operating systems they are like some basic fundamental theory subjects we'll talk about how we can prepare for those theory subjects and score good marks in our cgpa after that resume building most of the students in india 
use resume templates from canva from canva and there is a like a machine I, I can't remember the name of the machine uh, i think it's application tracking process i think i don't i can't recall the name of the machine but what that machine does is it will scan your resume before a person sees your resume this machine will scan and based on the machine uh, whatever the instructions given to that particular machine it will reject your resume if you prepare your cv from canva so there are like some basic templates which you should follow and will tell about you in this live sessions so all these topics like building projects how we can build projects theory subjects resume referrals how we can take referrals from the people who are working in the companies after applying to companies how we can come uh, apply on campus how we can apply off campus so we'll talk about that in our live sessions after it, how we can prepare for mock interviews uh, like actual interviews and how we can like be confident and how we can be a good public speaker after that we'll talk about linkedin how we can maintain linkedin uh, also one of the crucial things when it comes to placements so these are the things we'll be talking in our whole course so these are the three things these are the fundamental blocks of placements now let us talk about like what are the things we should have in our computer or we should know before we start this course there are three things that is first one is you need to have a laptop plus internet connection so whatever the things we are going to do we will do in our computer so for that you have to have a laptop after that we will install J java and uh, java development kit after it code editor so what are code editors code editors is, is nothing but a, a editor on which we will write our like code so you can see that uh, on notepad we'll write our text files so to write our coding files we'll use a code editor and will i will show you like how we can install jdk that is java development kit and our code editor that is nothing but visual studio code these are the things we'll be using in our course after that you need pen and paper i'm telling you again and again throughout this course you might get some like doubts and when you get these doubts first of all email me or try to contact me and i will reply you and we'll get into like uh, some live sessions or we'll talk about like confusion things or your whatever the doubt you will be having just ask in the live session and we'll clear it out again you will be having some doubt or uh, even though even all the discussions even though all even after all the discussions if you are having some doubts then i suggest you like take pen and paper and first of all think about the question understand the question after try to make the logic of that question on your own and by doing this you will get an approach to that particular question so there are three things when it comes to question solving that is first of all you need to understand the concepts so when i am telling you the concepts your 100% attention should be on the video screen so understanding concept is crucial so when we will be studying this concept called as greedy algorithms so in that concept you can do all those questions if and only if you can understand the concept so understanding concept is really really important in this particular uh, like uh, course duration after understanding concept we will be doing questions we will be doing questions and the process of question uh, like uh, doing will be first you have to try it by yourself pause the video try it yourself after it compare the solution if you can't get the solution then watch the video again and again you will get it so these are the two things i suggest you and throughout the building process i want you guys to keep motivation and have fun throughout the lectures and throughout this course right now let us see how we can download our vs code and java development kit in our computer let us see how we can develop how we can download our visual studio code and java development kit so what is java development kit java development kit is nothing but a, a java runtime environment where we can run our files so let us see how we can download it first of all you need to open the chrome after it go to incognito mode in this type visual studio code download So this is the first link you will get just click on this link and this is a page of visual studio code in this just download visual studio code your download will get started and here download save and if you save it 
then your download will get started here so this is how you will download your java that is visual studio code editor in your computer i already have my visual studio code in my computer that's why i'm pausing it now let us see how we can download our jdk that is jdk download java development kit download click here you can see that oracle website is there click on that click on it after that here you can see 64 for windows 64 bit if your computer is 64 bit then click on this link and click save here you can see that uh, your jdk is start uh, started downloading in your computer so this is how you can download i already have jdk and i already have visual studio code that's why i'm pausing in here right so this is how we can download our JDK and I will provide you the YouTube video links by just clicking the link you can see complete downloading complete installation of Visual Studio Code and JDK in your computer.